Welcome to Greater Faith, where we are moving our faith into action. Our mission at Greater Faith is that we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ and the beliefs of the Christian faith. To maintain the worship of God and to inspire all persons a love for Christ, a passion for righteousness, and a consciousness of their duties to God and their fellow human beings. We pledge our lives to Christ and covenant with each other to demonstrate His Spirit through praise, worship, faith, and ministry to the needs of the people of this church and the community. Church Announcements You can now watch our sermons on Facebook Live every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Greater Faith welcomes any donations to our Cash App or PayPal. Our Cash App is dollar symbol Faith Greater and PayPal is Greater Faith 2018 at Yahoo.com. This concludes our morning announcements. Now let's usher the spirit by giving God the ultimate praise.
Morning, Brother Faith. Morning. morning. Come on, y'all remember that. Can we set up on our feet right now to get a heavenly fall? Some round of applause right now. Can we applaud up right here? Oh, come on. I, 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 I know they get the dirt next morning. Yes, right. Let's wrap it up. Amen. Has God been good to you this morning? Amen. Has He been good to you all week long? Amen. You, you had some things that came your way you didn't see. Amen. Can we go say encore right now? Can we go encore right now? Let him move today. 
Yeah. Tear up your couches. Hey, make the neighbors mad. Hey, Amen. Throw something at the TV, but keep watching. Hey, Amen. Make sure you do whatever you got to do so that the Holy Spirit can do what he needs to do. Hey, Amen. You are welcome to greater faith. You are welcome here in this sanctuary of praise. We thank you right now. Where hey, greater faith, we are doing what, church? Huh? Moving our faith into action. Hey, Amen. We want to make sure you see the God and not us. Hey, Amen. We want you to see Jesus is not us because we're not playing no games. Hey, Amen. You are welcome right now. We're going to ask, amen, for Sister Angela. Well, no, I'm sorry. We're going to ask for our deacons to come up with our prayer and our scripture. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Good morning, Great Faith. Good morning. Good morning. Man, thank you, God. Good. Yes, yes, yes. all the time. Choir rehearsal yesterday, and choir rehearsal is great faith. It's like Bible study choir. That's rehearsal. right. That's right. <laughs> Praise and worship all together. Amen. Yes, sir. Weekend. Uh, the scripture this morning is going to be coming from uh, the book of James, chapter 1, yeah. verses 19 through 21. I will be reading from the ESV version. We ask that everyone stand that can, even the folks at home stand for the reading of the Lord's word. Go ahead, son. And so it goes, know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear and yes. slow to speak, yes. slow to anger, yes. for the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness, yes. rampant wicked, wickedness, and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. May the Lord have a, a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his holy and divine word. Amen. 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 Let us bow. Remain standing. All wise and almighty God in heaven, Lord, we thank you right now for this day that you've given us, Father God. Even though we don't deserve it, Father, you've given us another opportunity to get it right. Yeah. Now, Father God, those that you have strategically placed in this place called Great Face, Father God, we just ask right now that you would meet each and every one of them at their place of need, Father God. Everybody came here for something different, Father God, but most of all, we just pray that they would have, Father God, a need with some of you, Father, in their spirit. We just pray right now that you would bless this man of God, bless this church, Father God, and bless everyone under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, we pray and thank you. Amen. 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 Right now, we are halfway for the reading of our mission statement.
accept Jesus is all, is all you need. Hallelujah. Well, how many believers in the house today? Glory be to God. Jesus is all, all we need. Hallelujah. Little worship song that says, listen. Y'all, this is about me this time. 
Come on, come on. 
right now. Get lit, as they say. Come on, get fired up right now. Come on, listen. He, he gave you a lot of trouble this week, didn't he? He found some confusion in your mind this week, amen. He put some doubt in your mind. Today is the day. You should go ahead and let, let it all go right now. Get it to your heavenly father right now. Love, no, right now, God. I couldn't have this. I'm a, giving it back to you, amen. I'm giving it back to you. Y'all go ahead and check it right now. If you're tired, I'll stop right here. If you're tired. But if you got something that you are so that you got something that you're thankful for right now, just wave your hands and just say, man, God, I thank you right now, Lord Father. You made a way out of no way, Lord Father. The song says, you made a way. Amen. What the ones know that God made a way? Amen. What the ones say that God showed up unexpectedly? Amen. I, I didn't know how it was going to get done, but he showed up but unexpectedly right now. Thank you, God, for showing up on time. Amen. You made a way. Let the spirit flow in. We ain't got to go. Let it flow right now. The ones know that God made a way right now. They say, Kai, you made a way. You made a way, Lord Father. You. Nobody else, God, but you. Come on. You made a way. Come on, church.
Just don't care. Wait, no, we just don't care. Okay. There you go. Amen. We got them. Amen. We got all four of them. And all these people in here. <laughs> all four of them here. So praise God, though. Praise God. Listen, um, we're going to be, for the reading of the Lord, we're going to please ask everyone to please stand. Um, like, like I said, this is what we do here. We ask everyone to please stand. If you go to a concert and they get ready to the Pledge of Allegiance, you stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. This is our Pledge of Allegiance to our Heavenly Father. Amen. And so we're asking that when we read the Lord's Word, that you please stand. We're going to go to John 6, uh, 28. I mean, John 6, and we will be reading from the verse 28 and through 32. Amen. We're going to be reading from the ESV version. You may have King James. You may have the NIV. But we're going to be reading from the ESV. Amen. Church, say amen. Amen. Let us read. Then they said to him, what must we do to be doing the works of God? Uh -huh. Je then Jesus answered them, this is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, then what sign do you do that we may see and believe you? What works do you perform? 
Our fathers ate the mama in the wilderness, as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus then said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, yes. but my Father yes. gives you the true bread from heaven. Yes, For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Amen. May God have a blessing to the readers and the hearers and doers of this whole divine word in church. You may be seated in the presence of the church, uh, the presence of the Lord, and the church says, Amen. 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 Just for a moment right now, I think we held y'all long enough for our, our visitors here in this building this morning. Amen. It's good thing we're going to hold you just a little while longer. Amen. We're going to have a great time this morning. I did get a freestyle message here, Minister. I did get a freestyle message this morning. Hey, for a second, this title we're going to give is called Doing God's Work. Amen. Doing God's Work. Amen. How God does His work. Amen. Doing God's Work. How He does His his work. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. Amen. I, God, can, we can't do what God does. Amen. We cannot do the work that God do. Amen. But the only thing is that when we start to do God's work, we got to make sure that we do it the way that God wanted it to be done. Amen. amen. And I'm talking to someone, so I think, you know, amen. It's like, amen. amen. When we, we sign up, amen. When we sign up to do God's work, we can't do God's work how we want to do it. God's work, amen, because we'll tend to, we'll mess it up, man. Amen. amen. We're, we're just one of the ones that right now said that every once in a while, I want to do God's work. Amen. Just say amen. We're the ones that say, I want to do God's work. Amen. And I want to do it the way that God wants me to do his work. Amen. amen. For the ones here say, amen, amen, amen. Hey, I want to do God's work, but I want to do it my way. Amen. Where you at here? Now, I'm looking for some people right now to be honest with me. Amen. amen. We're, the, we're the ones that, amen. there it is, there it is, right there. So we're going to be talking to that brother. We got a target right, right there. He set himself up. Now, listen, every once in a while, listen, we cannot do uh, God's work our way. Amen. amen. That's not in God's plan. Amen. Remember, amen. God said that I give the plans. Amen. He even told our famous brother, uh, Job, listen, where were you at when I was laying the earth foundations? Amen. When God was laying the earth foundation, when God was hanging the stars, when God was hanging the moon, when God was putting the seeds and the, the boundaries between the, the land and water. Amen. Where were you at? You were not even thought of. You was not in your mama's womb. You was nowhere need. You was nowhere to be found when God was doing his work. Amen. Amen. So why is it that it's impossible for us not to do his work when he give us the vision, when he give us the direction, when he tell us what to do? Why do we feel as though God, but you have told me what to do, that I got to erase it, get some white out, and I'm going to do it the way that I want to do it. Amen. Amen. Your blueprint, Lord Father, was a long time ago but I need a blueprint that's up today. Amen. I need some people here right now and say, Lord, Father, I need your blueprint right now. Amen. I need to see what you need me to do right now, right now, Lord, Father, because we live in a world right now where they do everything they want to. Amen. And, and it's, it's almost like they, for the ones who can remember when you got hired on, I'm looking for the ones who've been working on their job for about 10, what, 12 years, 30 years, 20 years, how, how it is. We're the ones who had a long time job, amen, in this building right now. Uh, yeah, I see Tara, she's been working her job for eight years, amen. Uh, but listen, we're the ones that have been holding down their jobs for a long time, amen. You've been holding the job, and even once you didn't have the job, you remember the requirements, you remember the steps that you took to get this job, amen. I'm, we're the ones that, right, I remember filling out the application when I needed a job, amen. When I was in search for a job, amen. I didn't know what I was going to do because I needed a job. I just got fired because of my attitude, amen. Hey, it's going to be in the service. It's going to be in the sermon the whole time. It's going to be in the sermon, amen. It's going to be in the sermon. Where's the one that said that I needed a job so bad right now because I got a car note, I got student loans, I got a house note, amen. I got a park note, I got kids, I need food, I need clothes for the ladies with the red bottom shoes. I, I need I need the Jordans for me, and I need, I need, because I need I need the job right now because my lifestyle, uh, it doesn't support, amen, man, what, being broke, right, amen, my lifestyle doesn't support being broke, what, what are the ones that say, I got a lifestyle that it doesn't, it doesn't support me, what, being broke right now, amen, I need a little bit more money, God, amen, I need a little bit more right now because everything in this society right now, Mike, is what, going straight up, amen, a, a one bedroom apartment with only 700 square footage right now would cost you, what, $1,400 in, in Nashville, amen, I need I need another job because I can't be what be broke. Be broke. We're living in a society where we don't see people. They don't got not what they don't have one job. Amen. They're like they used to be, they got two or three. Amen. And in fact, when they lay down, they still working. Amen. They're working inside their head. They can't get no rest because they're working 
inside their head. Amen. Amen. Because they don't get tired of spending time with the kids. They don't get tired of spending with the spouse, the loved ones, the KC family. And everybody get upset because you don't have no time for them. You got to tell them, look, I'm working on some things right now. My, my bills don't require me to come to the family reunion this year. Amen. Amen. My bills don't require me to come to church. Amen. That's for the ones who make an excuse to come to church right now because the bills don't require me to come to church. I'm, I'm setting you up, church. You got to hear what I'm saying right now. I, I got to work these extra jobs right now. I don't got time for God right now. Amen. I don't got time for what? To praise God right now. I used to pray in the morning. I used to pray in the evening. I used to pray what, all through the day. But right now, I just don't got time because I got bills that need to be paid. I gotta be talking to somebody in this room right now. They got a couple jobs. When you when you sit down, you fall asleep. Amen. We're the ones that just sleep. Just, just fall asleep. You just took your rest and you just fell asleep right now because you're working so much. But listen, go back to it. Listen, you got to understand what I'm saying here, Carl the church. You remember when you fill out the application. Come you remember you, you fill out the application. The application asks for all your qualifications. It asks you for your credentials. It, it asks you for what? Your accolades. It asks for all these things. And amen. It even asks for you, your folks in here that had somebody that lied for you on that on their application. I know I'm not the only one that said that, hey, uh, who can we call to give you what? To give you what? A good a, a good reference. Amen. Y'all must be with me. Amen. Y'all with me right now. So we got some people that lied on the application. You you put down your best friend name. I put down Carl's name because I know Carl ain't gonna tell what the, the person that's answering the bad things. Hey, hey, is he a good worker? They call like they call like he a great worker. Hey, Amen. I, I didn't even expect Carl to tell tell the people that I was a great worker. Now watch this. I'm gonna get you for the ones in here when they call and call and say that you're a great worker, but when they said that you was a great worker, you said to yourself, I am a what? A terrible worker. Amen. You gotta admit that, hey, I am a terrible worker. Amen. I'm I'm lazy. You didn't want to tell your employee that I'm lazy. I, I I barely come to work. I won't be on time. Amen. I take I take I take Deacon Michaels on what lunch break. Amen. Amen. I, I use your Wi-Fi. Amen. I, I do all the things right now that I gotta do just to what? Just to get by. Amen. In fact, I got sister Sadie back there, what? Clocking out for me, amen. You don't tell an employee what well, you're a terrible worker, amen. What if people ain't said that, Lord, Father, if, if they only knew that I was terrible, they wouldn't hire me. I only got a few there, Mike. All oh, these must be good, must be some good employees right here. Hey, Amen. When, when they start working, they, they was hey, hey, listen, even you dressed up, you dressed up, you put a tie on, you put a dress on, hey, amen, or a dress pants, you you went down there, but you know, hey, when you left that interview, you put on the real clothes, hey, amen. You you put on the street clothes, you went back to the jeans, hey, amen, you went back to the to the skirts, you went back to sagging your pants and t-shirts, hey, amen. But I did enough just to what? Just to get get by. Hey, amen. Hey, that song said, just to get by. Where the ones that say, I, I did it a couple times. I, I got back. Hey, hey, I got by. Hey, amen. For the ones who probably working for a long time right now, you did just enough to what? Just to get by. But when you're doing God's work, come on now. When, when, when you're doing God's work, hey, amen. You, you can't you, you can't you can't lie to God about your work at this. Amen. You you can't tell God, Amen. You can't tell God that hey, they, I'm, I'm late because the kids was acting strange. Amen. God, I didn't have enough gas in my car. Amen. You can't tell God just any old thing. Amen. You can't tell God the reason why I didn't show, show the church. Amen. Was because what well, it was snowing outside. It was nothing but sunshine out there. Amen. You can't tell God the reason why that I can't give my tithes like I need to, Lord Father, is because they cut my hours. Amen. But God simply said that you didn't give no money when you had the money. Amen. But you you telling me all this thing. You, you better realize that you're talking to me and I know everything. In fact, I was the one that was on your resume. I told the employee, just give him one more chance. Amen. You didn't see that I was working in the background while you was working in the front line to the man. But I'm the one that sustained you. I was the one that kept you. I was the one that gave you everything you need. No clothes on your back. I gave it. I'm talking to you right here right yes, now. Sir. You can't tell my God just anything when you're working for the Lord. If you signed up when you came down and gave your life over to him, it is a full-time commitment. It's a full-time commitment. Now forget these notes. It's one for the preach. It's a full-time commitment. Y'all y'all walking around here with part-time tendencies. Amen. You want a full-time job, but you're walking around with a lot of part-time. Part-time believers in here, amen. Listen, listen. 
sanctuary right now that's going to show up to church, amen, because they got their taxes back, amen. The church is probably full, but guess what? They got their taxes, but they didn't give God nothing. We don't need your W twos. We don't need your. We don't need your last check stub. Amen. We don't know. We don't need to know what how much you got in your pockets right now. We we don't talk about that. But what we do talk about is you being fully committed to our heavenly Father. If you're not going to be fully committed to Him, then don't come to greater faith. I say it. Amen. Listen, you want to be broken? Then welcome on in here. But listen, we need some real folks in here to say, God, right now, listen, I'm tired of what being fake, Lord. Father. I'm tired of being a part. Worship. I'm tired of being a part-time believer. What are the people that say, Lord, Father, if you give me the full benefit, then I'm going to live a full life of commitment. What are the people that right now say, I'm looking for a full commitment? I can't hear one person say, man, I'm looking for a full commitment. You're part-time people. Let me hit you a little bit more. Part-time people. They can be fully committed in a relationship with somebody else. But they can't be fully committed to our Heavenly Father. And what the believer said right now, and am I speaking the truth? You, you can be fully committed and you say, I do. Or you, you say, you enter into a covenant with the person and say that you and I now are what? Man and woman. Amen. But when it comes down, I say, I just want just a, what? One minute of your time. Amen. I just want a, what? One hour of your time. Amen. Just talk to me. Amen. Amen. Because you better realize that I was the connection between you and her. Amen. I gave you what you wanted. I did everything you need. In fact, I gave you a praying man. I gave you a God-fearing man. I gave you a God-fearing woman. I gave you everything that you asked. And what did you give me in return? A part-time worship. You gave me a part-time worship. Amen. A part-time worship. My God. That's what we give to God right now as believers. You signed up when you gave your life over to God. But when, when, when are you going to show up to work? God and say that I'll, I'll stay on the battlefield, Lord Father. I'll, I'll work in the trenches, Lord Father. I'll, I'll feed the homeless, Lord Father. I'll, I'll close your orphans, Lord Father. I'll take care of the widow. But when you're going to show up to work, amen. And we don't care about how you look when you come to church. Just make sure you want Come to church. Show up. We, we look, we're looking for the believers. Y'all believers been, uh, the believers of Christ has been on the what? Y'all been on vacation since what? 2020. Amen. You've been, you've been hibernating. Amen. Everybody worried about the vaccine, but nobody worried. And if Jesus was to say that time no more, hey, it's all over with. Nobody's worried about where their life is going to be at. Amen. I'm only worried if I'm going to what? Die to a vaccine or to a virus. Uh, but there's something greater than that virus that you still be worried about right now. You should be worried, where is my life is going to be once this world is over? That's good. That's good. That's good. Where is it going to be at? Yeah, yeah. You, you're looking for, you're looking for, you're looking for the antidote, what, one? You're looking for the antidote, dose number, number two? And, and, and then listen, you're not looking for the salvation, number one, amen. There's a salvation right now that I'm searching for. Jesus, can I stand in line and, and get my what? Salvation. I just need a shot. I just need a shot. Just one shot. Just a shot. And, and let me tell you, when Jesus gave you that one shot there, you don't need nothing else. That's the problem, church. You can turn into the wrong stuff. Part-time. Part-time. Part-time workers. Part-time workers show up. I love it. They don't show up. And listen, part-time workers, they don't even show up on time. Amen. They show up late. Amen. Y'all got to catch that part-time worship show up late. Amen. We, I, I got it here. I got it, church. I, I got it. I said I'm going to freestyle with this this morning. They show up late. Y'all got to hear this call, ministers. And you got to hear the call. Listen, the part-time worship show up late. Amen. They show up after we have got through praising God. Amen. They didn't show up while we was praising God, while we were thanking God, while we was crying, and while we were shouting. Guess what? They show up at what? At the end of church. Amen. Am I talking to anybody right now? Say, I know a 
do part time worship yeah. and will show up once the doors are closed. Part time worship. Part time worship. They show up. They show up at the end of the praise. They don't show up at the beginning of the praise. Amen. To let God move into their life. They show once everything is over with. Amen. Once the degree is turned down. Amen. When it's hot up in here, like they waving fans right now, you don't see nobody shouting praise to God. When it get hot in the room right now, that means that the spirit. Is in the building right now. We got some people right now that said, turn the heat down. Well, the heat ain't on, but it's the Holy Spirit that's in this place. Part time. Part time. You're part time people. I love you. Like, I, I love you very much. We got some part time people that want the full time benefits. You, 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 want, you, want to be, you want to be the preacher. You want to be a preacher, but you're part time. Amen. You, you, you want to be a praise minister. Amen. You, but you're a part time. And this, you want to be a you want to be a believer, but you're what? Part time. Amen. You want to be a mother, but you're what? Part time. You want to be you, you want to be a daddy, but you're what? Part time. Amen. You want to be a child of God, but you're what? Part time. Show up. You, you want the you, you want the you want the four one okay? You, you want you want you want you know you want you want all that. You want the four one okay? You want the retirement plan? You, you know you, you ain't been here no more than what one day. Amen. You asking? You've been on the job for one day. You gave your life over to God and you want everything that God has promised you. Amen. But the point is, you want everything, but you're not doing everything. Amen. You're not doing anything to attain everything. Amen. God should have said that my grace is what it's a show. And we got some Bible readers in here, amen. God said, my grace is what? Amen. amen. Once you give your life over to God, don't, don't show up and say, God, what you got for me? Say, God, what can I do for you? What can I do for you, God? But God can't get that. God can't get it because I got my taxes back. See y'all next year. Got my stimulus on top of that. I'm going to Hawaii. You won't see me until next year. Amen. Yeah, I'll be back next year. Come on, I got my taxes. I'll catch, catch me later, Paul. I'm just joking with y'all, man. Listen, but we cannot continue to be part time worships. You can't be part time believers. You're going to be full time. God don't want you to be what? What's the word? What's the word said? You can't be what? Lukewarm. Amen. And in other words, it said that you can't. You can't love too what? You can't love too masters. And you know what? You're going to hate your love one and you're going to hate the other. And God said, I'm not trying to be the one that you hate. I'm trying to be the one that you want, that you love. Amen. I love on you. Love on me. Well, amen. Give me the same thing back. But, oh, oh, wait a second. God is not like that. God said, no matter how you treat me, no matter how you act, I'm, I'm still going to be there for you. Amen. I'm still going to keep my doors open. Amen. My grace and my mercy is still right there for the taking. No matter how you act, because I know that the money is going to run out. That love that you got from somebody else will eventually go back home. Amen, amen, amen. That, that person that I told you not to link up with right now, they will soon leave. When all those things start to the car break down, amen, that you got. Don't worry, I'll still be what? Right here when you when you finally come to your sister. Part-time believers. Show up to church, y'all. Show up to church only to try to run the church. Amen. Hey, I'm, I'm speaking today. Part time people are show up to church trying to what? Run the church. Amen. Don't have the qualifications or anything. You know what the qualification is of being a believer? Amen. It, it doesn't mean that you got to have a college degree. It doesn't mean that you talk fancy words. It doesn't mean that you got money in the bank. Uh, listen, qualified uh, believers mean that, hey, listen, in my point is that you've been through some things. Amen. That you you have you have ran your you have ran your you have ran your course with everybody that you know, amen. Nobody wants to talk to you because you're low down and you're dirty, amen. Nobody wants to deal with you because you stole, amen. Nobody wants to deal with you because you drank and you smoke, amen. Nobody wants to talk to you because you lied too much, amen. Am I talking to anybody in here right now? Qualification of a believer in many things. I'm turning to the Heavenly Father because I'm broken. I'm jacked up. I'm hurt. I've been scorned, amen. I've been talked about. I, I've been doing. 
some things. And when I saw up with my application and said, God, take a look at my resume, amen. I'm not going to darken nothing up. I'm just going to give it to him just like it is. Lord, Father, you know that I, I ain't nothing. Lord, Father, you know that I've done some things in my life. Lord, Father, you know that I, I walked out on my responsibilities. Lord, Father, you know that I was on drugs. Uh, here's my application. Can you fix me? Well, people are still on your feet right now and say, God, I need to be fixed. I, I need to be fixed right now because I'm broken, Lord Father. I can be a better person, Lord Father. And you look at my application. Talk to him and say, God, you ain't got to call nobody on that resume. You ain't got to call nobody. Just call me and I'll tell you, Lord Father, listen, I'm guilty of those things. Amen. I, I come to you, Lord Father, because I've done it. Amen. I don't need nobody else to lie for me. Amen. I don't need nobody else but to steal for me. Amen. I don't need nobody to take my place. Amen. Because Jesus already done it. Oh, come on. What I want to say right now, know that Jesus already taken your place. Amen. What I want to say that Jesus took my place. Amen. When I know that I should have been on the cross. When I know that I should have been what? Right there laying in the grave. What I want to say right now, said, don't revive me, Lord Father. Leave me where I need to be at because I want dead right now. Yeah. And at that moment. Thank you, Father. At that moment, church. Yes, sir. In the midst of me being checked up, in the midst of me being low down and dirty, yeah. I guess I'm the only one here. I ain't hearing nothing, y'all. In the midst of me being lost, we're the ones that have been lost on that path on that journey of life right now. We're the ones that said that I was lost, Lord Father. I, I didn't have a light. Amen. You. Every time I turn on the flashlight, the battery with that. Amen. Amen. Where Where was the one that said that I was holding on to some people, but we got we got we got we got crossed. Amen. They, they went one way and I went this way. Amen. Amen. Lord, Father, but when you start to realize, God said that you didn't need the light. Amen. God said you didn't need those folks guiding you because where they was taking you was going somewhere else. God said, if you hold on to my hand, amen, I'm, I'm going to lead you to this place called salvation. Amen. I'm going to lead you to this thing called eternal and everlasting life. Amen. You ain't got to worry about a place where everybody else going to see. Listen, I had to separate you in order for you to what? To come my way. I had to what? Deviate your plan in order for you to leave some people behind. Amen. But God, I really love them. I love hanging out with them. But God said, did you not see the accident that was on the, or was that, what, that was ahead of you right now? Did you not see Hey, they were setting you up for a trap? I had to what? Separate you. Thank you. Thank you. Separate you. Thank you. But then again, here we are. Right back on the path of destruction. We hope we God God took us off that path. Amen. It was everything was great. Everything was wonderful. But what we do? We got bored. We, we got we got bored with it. We we got bored with walking and living a what righteous life. Amen. Come on, demons, talk to me. We got tired of living a righteous life. Amen. Just like our like just like our dear people who was in the Garden of Eve. Amen. Walking and talking with God. Amen. Had the fruit that was what nothing but perfect. Amen. But somebody got bored. Amen. Someone started to listen to somebody that they shouldn't be listening to. Amen. Why are you serving that God? Amen. Why you want to obey that God? Amen. Is it, it your God has been selfish? Amen. Your God don't want you to know the things that you can that you can attain. Amen. Your God has been selfish. Why are you listen to him? And then next thing you know, guess what? You're doing what my man Adam did. Come on, come on. It's not about it's not about a female and a male thing. It's about being disobedient. Amen. Amen. You knew you knew better what to take a bite of that fruit. Amen. Now I often wonder how did it look? Did it look sweet? Did it be something? But it's not about the look, Carl. It's all about, hey, the woman did it, and I don't want to be by myself. Let me buy into it. We're the ones right now that say, I don't want to be by myself. I don't want to be myself, but here's the deal. God removes some people out of your life so you can be by yourself. Amen. You are distracted by the people who are in your life. In order for me to work on you, I got to remove some people what, out of your life right now. I got to take some things out of your life right now because you are distracted. Amen. You put your worship on them. I, I can't get nothing from you right now. You speak highly of them and you speak nothing of me. Why are the ones that right now that say, Lord, I'm willing to what they focus on you. Doing God, you're not wrapping up. Doing God's work, church, it's not easy. 
it, it, it's not easy at all. Like I said, you're gonna have to deal with attitudes, you're gonna have to deal with That's you're gonna right. have to deal with abandonment, you're gonna have to deal with people right now, right now that are gonna throw your past up in your face, amen. You're gonna have to deal with people Come who's on, not man. just walking the walk you walk no more. Right. Every, everybody look at you and say that the famous words they say is what you changed. You, you're changed. You're, you're not the same person that you used to be. You're, you're, you're talking different and you're acting different. And in fact, you look you look different. And, and, you, and, and you just start to look at, when they say that to me, I, I look at myself and I say, well, why did I do? You know, I, I had to change. Amen. If, if I kept looking the same way, I would look worn down. Amen. We're the ones that say right now, I was drinking myself. Hey, under the bus. Hey, Amen. I was smoking myself under the bus. Hey, Amen. I was doing some sexual immorality. I was doing some stuff that was causing my lifestyle to what? Uh, have an exit plan to hell. Hey, Amen. I talk to someone right now who was on the verge of suicide. You ain't got to have a gun to your head. Keep living the way you was and you were living a what? Suicide lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to be talking to myself. Man. Right the ones that said that I, I was suicidal. I didn't have the, I didn't have the idea of taking take my own life, but what I was doing was going to what take my life. I'm, I'm looking for some true people here right now and say I was one step away from what being out of here. I was suicidal. Without a gun, without a knife, without drugs, without alcohol, without what jumping off a bridge and jumping in front of a car. I was suicide because my lifestyle had me on a on a path of destruction. Watch this part. My lifestyle had me on a collision course with God. Amen. My lifestyle had me lined up with God. Let me tell you something right now, church. You don't want to be on that one-on-one -on -one with God, amen. Because your your whole decision, your whole demeanor means that you're going to what? You're going to perish. We talked about it in the book of Genesis. Yeah. That God was walking with us. Yeah, man. Talking with us. Oh, yeah. We were doing his work. We were praying to him. Every once in a while you see someone get on the collision course come on, come on. with God. When they got on their collision course with God, it didn't end well. Mm, come on. God was a God that didn't play. God is a God that still doesn't play. God is a God right now to say that, hey, back then in Genesis, God said, you've done something against me, you're out of here. Amen. You're out of here. Don't get on the collision course. One-on-one -on -one with God. But then, he did something that was great, church. Come on. Instead of trying to destroy you, Come on. Come on. instead of trying to wipe you out, Come on. instead of saying, I'm done with you, you're out of here. He sent his son yes, by the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, not to destroy you. Mm -hmm. Not to wipe you out. No. Not to be done away with you. Come on, come on. But to save you. Yes. He sent his son to save each and every one of us in this room. Yes. To endure what we should endure. Do I get any believers, believers in this room right now? Yes. They say, God, thank you, thank you. for sparing my life. Where you at right now? Stand your feet and say, God, thank you for sparing my life. Raise your hand right now. Thank you, God, for sparing my life. Because I was suicidal. It doesn't mean that you had a gun, but you were suicidal because your lifestyle that you were living. You were living a lifestyle that you didn't know that God could say that it was over. And it was over. I need for the believers to truly, to truly understand the cross and the grave is what saved us. That's right. Amen. Come on, church. The cross yeah. and the grave it saved us.